Hello guys, today we will talk about Vue.js Starter Kit for Laravel 12. I already had a review of React Starter Kit. On this YouTube channel I had two videos for CRUD Project Part 1 and Part 2. And this will conclude the trilogy of courses on Laravel Daily. We released all three already for React, Livewire and Vue. And on YouTube I will try to summarize the main points. In the full course on Laravel Daily we create this table with CRUD of tasks. And in this video I will show you the main thing that you need to know how to start customizing things after you install Vue Starter Kit. So I will demonstrate you the first four lessons of that course, which will show you how to customize things after installation, like change the text here, how to change the layout to top navigation, add menu item here, and add a table from chat CN view components. Let's begin. So we start a new Laravel project with Laravel new, and we will choose view starter kit with defaults in other options. It will ask for npm commands and I choose yes. And that's it. As a result in the browser we can load view project.test powered by my Laravel herd for domain management and we can see login and register here on the top right. And if we try to register I will use fake filler chrome extension for that. Click here and create account and we are inside of Vue.js powered Laravel starter kit dashboard. That's it about installation. Now let's see what's inside the code. I always start analyzing Laravel projects from the routes. So here are the routes with welcome and dashboard and a few more includes requires for other files. So inside of the settings we have for example controllers now for profile and password management and inside auth we have other controllers for login register and other forms. If we take a look at one of the controllers, for example, profile controller, it is used to manage profile from the settings here, the profile form. This is the Vue.js component for editing the form, loading by inertia, and inertia's role here is to avoid view router separately, so it's a glue between Laravel and Vue.js, and if we go inside settings profile.view, this is a typical Vue.js component with script, use form from inertia, and template with Vue.js syntax. If we take a look at the import section of that Vue.js component, a few important parts here. The components UI subfolder comes from ShadCN view library, library of components. The original ShadCN is for React, but there is a community powered ShadCN view, which is almost the same as the original React, but with a few differences we will discuss later in this video. And then there are internal components from View Starter Kit, which you would find in just Components folder. Also, View Starter Kit by default uses TypeScript, so you will find types here imported and also interface here. We will talk about them later in this video, but just so you know, TypeScript is present in the starter kit. Now let's talk about things you can customize easily in terms of layout and design. I will zoom that in and let's for example change something in the logo. The customizations may be in the view files or in the CSS. For example, if we open the file app logo.view in resources.js components, here is the text. For example, we can change that to view tasks, for example, which will be the crud of tasks in this video later. We change the text and to apply the changes, of course, we need to run npm run build or npm run dev. I will just leave it in the background for future changes. And then if I refresh the page, we have view tasks here. Other changes may be in the CSS. For example, if you want to change the color of active menu item, there's a file resources CSS app CSS with some styling customized already by starter kit. And we're interested in the sidebar accent one. So we change those items. I will paste it from my notes to these values. And now I have different color here for the active menu item. And the final customization I will show is the layout. So by default, there's a sidebar layout, but there's another option which you can easily change the top navigation. So it will be called a header layout. There's a file resources JS layouts app layout dot view. And here it imports app sidebar layout. All you need to do is to change to app header layout already auto completed by my PHP storm. I just changed that. And this is our page with top navigation. The next thing is to add a menu item here called tasks and create a table of tasks for the data. This is what I've done behind the scenes made a model with migration and factory. So this is a simple model. I will not even stop here. This is Laravel fundamentals, a few columns with factory and fake 
and database heater just seeding 10 tasks. And this is our database table of 10 tasks in MySQL. Now let's generate a resource controller working with that model task, which would at first return just the table. At first, let's take care of the index and we have inertia here and index inertia render returns the Vue.js component, which doesn't exist yet, we'll create in a minute with all the tasks from the database. Next, we add that controller to the route. So route resource tasks with task controller class import it on top and also let's add middleware auth here you can of course refactor those groups or a few routes into one group but this is a personal preference and now let's go to that controller and create tasks index we need to create that file in resources.js pages so we go to pages new file tasks index dot view and this is the first static content we use the same app layout we use head from inertia to have that on the top in the title and we also specify that we use TypeScript. We're not doing that for now, but still for the future, let's specify that on top. And if we now go to URL of tasks, we see that page. Now, how do we add the menu item on top? This is configured in the file resources JS components app header.view. In here, you can see main nav items. So we just copy paste and add tasks to URL of tasks with icon let's import another icon icons are imported from lucid view next here so we can add one more for example briefcase icon like this and then we specify that here like this and this is our new menu item now let's build the table of tasks and for that we'll use our first component from chat cm chat cm view as i said is kind of a fork a community version of chat cm for Vue.js specifically and has a lot of components it's already pre-built with view starter kit and pre-configured so you don't need to install that but then you can just choose the component in our case we will need a table and run the commands for the installation in this case we'll run this so we'll run that npx okay to proceed and as a result we have these components imported from chat cm view and the usage of that from the documentation after installation you just import a lot of things related to the table from components ui table and then use them inside of the template like table head table row and others so we will do exactly that in our index.view we will import a lot of things from components ui table for now they are underlined because they're not used in the template and we'll replace that static div with the table i will paste it from my notes for now static just to show you how the table component works and this is our page with static table with not much styling but it works now let's show the actual data here so in the controller we pass that as tasks and we need to accept that in the index.view here but first we need to talk about TypeScript. Remember in the profile.view, this line imports something from types and types are defined from Vue.js starter kit itself. And remember this nav item, we already used it. When we added a new nav item, this is the structure. The items have type of nav item array list. And this is exactly the purpose of TypeScript. You define the type or the interface here and then every other developer who used that structure knows what the structure should be and TypeScript would flag or warn you if something goes wrong according to the structure. So in that fashion, we need to define the type for task, which we would do in that file index.t.ts. Again, I will paste it from my notes. We define the interface of task and then in our index.view in that script section, we need to import that task from types then we define the property interface for tasks. So this is the Vue.js syntax for properties. And now we can use tasks here in the table. Instead of that one table row, again, I will paste it. We will have v4 loop task in tasks. And this is the benefit of TypeScript, the autocomplete of IDE, for example. If I put dot in here, then my IDE PHP Storm would suggest from TypeScript what are potential properties and now if we refresh our page we have 10 tasks from the database loaded in our Vue.js component so these are the basic things that you need to know about Vue starter kit how to create something on top of that you add menu item here you choose or customize the layout then you create your Vue.js component which may or may not use TypeScript that's your personal preference the routes are done with Laravel controller and return inertia render for components and then for visual view of those components you use 
either the pre-built components from the starter kit here i highlighted them on the left like heading like icon inputs and others or go to chatcn.view and see what components are available to you to use if you want to continue with this demo you can proceed with course on laravel daily so i've shown you the first four lessons from here we go to build the full CRUD and then add more features like table pagination, the date picker, file upload, filter in the table and then widgets on the dashboard. I will link that course in the description below. Also with that course you will get the link to the GitHub repository. What do you think about this Vue.js starter kit? Will you use it for your projects? Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.